Hello everybody and welcome to another one of our how-to guides. So today we're going to be concentrating on Gypsophila, which is our flower of the month. Such a popular flower, um, very versatile, perfect for DIYers, really trendy as well. Everybody still loves Gypsophila. So cost effective because one stem goes a really long way. And putting together flowers using um, gypsophila is not particularly labour intensive, it's quite quick, quite easy, so very, very popular. So we thought we'd feature a bridal bouquet today. I'm going to use a variety that's called Starburst. Now this is one of our um, extra grade ones that we have on our website. It's one of the smaller headed ones. In my opinion, the smaller headed varieties tend to be a little bit more dense a little bit more robust possibly um, and I would say probably a little bit easier to work with in some respects only because it's that little bit more robust. See what you think. I'm going to put together a bouquet for you now. I'm using 10 stems of Gypsophila Starburst. My other tools are just some 12 millimeter pot tape and some mossing twine, the natural one I'm using, and obviously my trusty scissors. So what could be easier than that? Thank you, I hope you enjoy.
So as you can see, a really simple bouquet to create, um, very versatile. Top tips I would recommend before you prepare is actually break down all of the stems of, of gypsum that you want to use into suitable sized pieces. As you saw I did earlier, uh, it's just easier to manage them um, and they're more malleable. They kind of uh, fit into the bouquet easier when they're in small sized pieces. As always, bear in mind the size of the bride or flower girl or bridesmaid that you're creating the bouquet for. Usually for a bride, I would recommend 10 to 12 stems. For an adult bridesmaid, probably eight. And for a little flower girl, potentially five. You might even need three, depending on her age. The wonderful thing about creating a bouquet like this is it can be made up a couple of days before the wedding. So you, if the wedding was Saturday, for example, you could make this up on Thursday, Thursday evening ideally. Pop it into a bucket of fresh clean water, leave it somewhere cool and dark, and then on the Saturday morning, just before the wedding, you can then decorate the stem. To be honest, if you decorate the stem too soon and keep it in a bucket of water, whatever it is that you've popped on the stem, whether it be ribbon, string, twine, lace, um, it will soak up the water. It just looks really ugly on the day. Um, and just bear in mind also, you do need to just dry the stems before the bride carries the bouquet. Otherwise you can get drippage on that beautiful white gown. Okay, so that's just a few top tips. I hope you've enjoyed watching this one today. Thank you so much for joining us again. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can stay up to date with all of our latest tips and hints um, and ideas, inspirational ideas for flowers and arrangements to create for not only your home and events, but for someone special in your life. Um, there's also more videos using JIP, which is our flower of the month, and other flowers. So don't forget to share us with your friends, like us, comment below, and keep those questions coming, because we love to hear your questions um, and love to help with what you're planning and preparing. So until we see you again, Bye for now and thanks for watching.